Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Alvoratila Caledonia Let's Play. So, yeah, I will be playing on Legendary. And, yeah, I'll, be, I'll go for a Divine Triumph, as you can see. So, yeah, I'll go into the Hills with that. So, yeah, let's see how the cultural trait. They have sweet spoils, so this means they get minus 15% movement speed reduction in raiding stance. Raiding king in neutral territory plus 200%, raiding income in enemy territory plus 200%. Always have guerrilla deployment, and this applies to all armies. So, the specific traits of these factions are a faction is are actually, yeah. Urgent actions cost less, and their success chance is higher, plus their recruitment is lower. So, you can see. So, yeah. Uh, let's look at this line of defense against Imperial War. <coughs> okay, so the Caledonians are Northern Britain's first line of defense against Imperial Rome. And the by bar bear the way north for any would be invaders. Although their true heritage has been much debated, they are believed to be an amalgamation of Pictish tribes, those link in the Roman advance, surviving mostly in a series of all hill forts and farms stretching across the highlands of Scotland. In, mention, wait, in mentioning the Caledonians, Tatsitus describes them as stereotypical definition of red-haired, long-limbed Northmen, furious and barbaric to a man. Since Mons Grapius, the Caledon... Wait, what is this? Oh, the Caledonians have remained a belligerent thorn in the Empire's side, constantly crossing into Britain. Britannia to raid, often successful, despite dogged dodged know, imperial efforts. They steadfastly refused to be cow cow oh, and stand now against darkening world, poised to the back what is r rightfully theirs. So, yeah, victory conditions. My triumph. I have survived until 450 AD, so that is math 55 times 4. 220 turns. So that is lots I have lot. And for finish the campaign, so control 75 settlements, either by direct ownership or tributary states or and military allies. Well, defeat or different factions, either by capturing or raising or down the last remaining settlement. Yeah, basically subjugating anything. Okay, so I have to control to send the regions, basically entire Brit, all the British Isles. Caledonia, Tiberia, Britannia, Inferior, Britannia, Superior, Venetia, which is a part of Italy, Eastern part. If you know where it is, that's good for you. If you don't, well, then you'll find that out about it. Trucnesis, which is in Spain, or northeastern part of Spain, I'd say. Africa, basically, the region with Carthage. Macedonia, you probably know where that is. It's basically Greece and that part of Macedon. South, basically, Macedon and Greece combined, plus, yeah. Also, I have to cont maintain 180 units, loot or sack, 20 different settlements, construct these four buildings, which are basically large cities, meets guild, military port, hall of elders, research for technologies, hold at least one settlement, and provinces in which your religion is dominant. Earn the following income from raiding 18,000, so I think that this uh, what is it? The cultural trait will help me a lot, so I just want to check right and run, so they are basically more looters turn of the night, yeah, it's just some, I don't know, I think they are bad, so, yeah, also I don't mention it, but shout out to War Eagle, who made the template for thumbnail this let's play, so, yeah, you can find his channel in the description and on my featured channels, which are basically Friends at Arms, renamed, yeah, so, yeah, I think that's all of the way, let's get into it, and let's hope it'll be fun and long let's play, because I want to have this let's play until Warhammer comes out, and I think this will last until Warhammer comes out. So on that in introduction movie intro, I don't know what it's called, so see you then. Grew in strength and number. Their 
roots went deep, and they felt the earth's blood pounding through the land. But their borders were threatened, for a great storm raged in the east. One by one, the tribe scattered the seeds in the wind. And behold, a red horse, and power was given for him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. The blood of their kin would be avenged. Wood. Hunters, they tempered their blades in Roman blood and saw their wants to dust. Mm, Backstab is a bitch. War. Okay, so I will also allow you to that introduction, I will leave it be. So, yeah. This introduction that will happen right now. Okay, so I do all the plan, not a lot. Well, basically, just to hire all these mercenaries here and basically go for two S's. And this is the most logical thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> Probably isn't, but fuck it. I'm a fucking exception. I'll go to war with them. I don't know if he criticizes me. Man, I don't know. I respect your decision. Let's try aggressive. Not try. Let's do aggressive. You can see we won. Obviously. So yeah, if you're playing either by as the Picts or or as Caledonians, you will be able to take out the other faction in one turn. But if you're playing as the Danes, you'll we'll need a bit more time actually I think not you can take them out on the second turn I think if you're fast enough so let's disband all these mercenaries yeah I think I won't need this too so basically once I take out this horde it is left the Picts okay just let me set it for this I will declare war on the Romans and try taking all this then take Ireland. Let's build up my economy a bit more. So let's get a wife for Divico. So governors, let's get you Caledonia at Hibernia. Let's get this because you can see Celtic paganism is on the fall. So yeah, I think I'm good to end the turn. And let's see what will happen. So hopefully I'll be able to take out that horde like in a couple of like maximum three turns from the beginning, I mean, his, this is second turn, so I'm be able to reach them this turn. I mean, I should be. A couple of turns, like, I can probably try surrounding them a bit. Okay, lol. Okay, yeah, I can't actually count them. Okay, so let me... Uh, get you here. Here. Go faster. And let's upgrade you, give you... I can give you this and this, because I mean, we'll retrain these armies from scratch. 
Okay, uh, you guys go towards them. You guys will be able to support them in case of them attacking us, which is unlikely. So I can probably disband these true nuts as well. I'll say around this. The turrets have been kinda like just. Let's say fast. I can give them to her. Let's get up. No, I want military access for. I know. Let's try it. No. No, it's not. No kill. No. So we are weaker than the Danes, but that's because they have a fleet. Okay, so ideally by year 400 I'll have the entire British house, which I think is easily achievable. So I can actually start raising another army, which will be the army that will be... No, I can't yet. Let's not turn that will happen. <laughs> Okay, so next turn we'll be able to take out the Picts. So we'll be one of the last remaining Celtic factions in the game. And on the world. At this point the only Celtic factions were these three, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, historically speaking, the Saxon in s invaded the Britain, and I think that they were ruling, kind of ruling them, all the way until the Normans came. I don't know. I'm not sure though. <laughs> it might be true. A big might. Okay, let's take on warriors. Actually, the prob the Danes have a lot in their territory. Well, Again, relish them. So I can disband. Let's get rid of these guys. I get you at into Eldun. Okay, now let's start recruiting Celtic Levy. Three lots of them. Let's get just two. Oh, yeah, fuck it. I can't upgrade anything I wanted just to get two or whatever. Yeah, so I might be able to upgrade some shit. 47 but that's because I disbanded that army but we are getting we'll get this one and the new one so we will take Britain fast fastly faster than Abdanians also there's a chance that they might leave Eblana okay so let's enter and let it all happen so basically the adventures advantages that the AI has generally is that I think their upkeep is way lower and they can recruit more units per turn so yeah that's basically it I think no they also have some they, they have better attack and defense than like the regular units for example if let's say like what, what do they have how much they have 30 attack and if they would fight against them I think they would have like 36 so that's the problem that most people have uh, with legendary that air has quite some cheats let's say that well, it's, uh, they don't want to have military access so yeah okay the yeah I'll get okay in a couple of turns I hope Okay, let's see, we'll, we need 5 or 10, so we'll go for 10, because this is way better than this. Okay, so we're getting this up, so we'll have better spearmen, and I think brigands as well. We'll get 3 units of these guys, one of these guys two, possibly 2 units of these guys, a mercenary onger, let's get him it now, and yeah, I think that is mostly it. I can probably get some. I'll get some calorie as well. So let's enter. Let it will happen. Also, I'd like to have j just this one. Since I want to have some money, so I'll be able to upgrade my infrastructure. So I'll be able to have. So I will have a better economy. No, <laughs> I just made a, f a title for this episode. The fight for Britain begins. Because like. Think about it. The Saxons have programmed AI to go to Britannia. Abdanians have the same. 
Jutes the same. They all want to have Britannia. Okay, legit okay, so I don't know. I read this before, like I don't know. And before I play this obviously. No. And get me look, I'll explain. I played with uh what's it? The pigs and they all have the same I think I also played with the Danians, so Caldonians are kinda new thing to me. So they might want to no they don't want it. Like Saxons you can have we can be friends with them, not we can have friends with them. We can have as well, like we can have both. Let's see they okay. Let's see Abdanians, they probably have a few that are air now. I would marry her off it. She's like meh, just meh. So let's seek him a wife. He'll get married. Also our king you can seek a wife as well. <laughs> He'll get rejected, we all know that. So you know, I'm thinking about getting a couple of units of cavalry. I'm thinking about getting these guys, but they have higher upkeep, which in the beginning is quite a bit, but I mean, they damage like 90 compared to their, what was it, 38. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet. I'll probably go for this just because they're cheaper. And the thing about it, you can have 4 of this and 3 of this, and they will still cost less. We'll get to this Celtic X band because guys that the trust that reinforce the weaker points. That's what they will be. I will also have tons of swords on each flank, and in two turns we should be able to invade Western Roman Empire. Now I know this has been <laughs> this episode will be a bit like the first five episodes will kind of be like mostly like just enter. No, the first two episodes I would say that. Just because I'm preparing everything, and yeah, we're st okay. So our Imperium take her hand. Really big. They deserve to die for that fly alone. Mm. And not release them. I don't know. Oh. He got a wife. He didn't get a chance. The fuck, man. Okay, so I'll upgrade them. Okay, so get rid of these guys for flanks and actually, yeah, this flank and these guys is cavalry. So I'll get three more units of cavalry and then we invade Western Roman Empire. No bloody hell, this will take a long time. Like it will be 397 before I even begin the invasion of Britain fully. It's kind of annoying, but we have a lot of stuff. We have a lot of like, what? We have quite a lot, so I won't rush. That's the whole point of it. Like that you survive, you don't need to rush or anything. Just sit back, relax, slowly expand, make corruption annoy you as fuck. And that's basically the point of Attila. Attila, not Attila. Huh? I don't know, I think it's Attila. So if you are, a new <laughs> I would say subscribe, but uh, like subscribe if you want. I won't force you to do it. Like it, it would be nice to subscribe, but then again, like you probably won't. But yeah, uh, right. Let's promise the three sons after a turn back. <laughs> Bloody pig skin. Yeah. However, they have paid a heavy price. Oh no! All three bear mortal wounds. They claim to. The skin has bought. Okay, so. I <laughs> no, let's try it. Fuck it. Okay, let's plan just three more units of this guy, so. No. No, I, I recruited the wrong guys, damn it. Okay, so my economy. It won't go to shit, but it will be bad because, I mean, I'm getting upgrades to buildings that will help. Not a, a bit, not a lot. I'm going to minus, but I'll have like 100. Plus we gave Romans some time to develop Britain, so we might gain some, like, nah, nah, we probably won't gain that much from taking Britain. If, you, if you're a horde, I suggest you just try to go for, like, the richest provinces. You'll get the most out of them. Especially if you sack them. And also, if you're a horde, try creating, like, this, uh, 
try liberating. So we have a general now. Okay, let's start the war. Actually, no, I can probably ask the Saxons if I can join the war and get some money out of it as well. I can... no, maybe 300. No. Let's see, they aren't at war with them, so let's... Okay, if I ask the Saxons, it will improve my relations, won't it? I think it is, so they don't want me to join the war. Let's declare war. Look at YOLO. Yo fucking law. So let's take a port come so it is still a level 1 region, so let's take it aggressively. I will occupy it. I want to liberate it because we don't want more Romans. Okay, so I can probably... I can destroy this, repair this, repair this, so I'll convert it eventually. Sooner. Sooner rather than later, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I get. Plus one from. Okay, so uh, this gives me plus eight. This gives plus two. Well, that's actually quite a good to have. Let's get this, and yeah, this will be able to take Lindum next turn. Actually, I will raise another army here. Wait, who was that general? That Olam Re of Wisdom. Okay, so let me look at his trade. Upkeep cost. Oh, nice. Corruption minus 30%. That's fucking awesome. And if you in give him this, like, it shouldn't it? No, this. It, sh it yeah, I mean, it could. It has the potential. I think. I'm not sure. Let's see, I can't get you anything. Can I get. Yeah, you know, it's useless to get him anything. Okay, let's get our air into the rolling. Also, if you want to have an army named after it, just tell me I don't give a fuck what my armies are named, so let's get you this and this, get you this and this. Yeah, just tell me what you want to be called, like, I don't care, like, what my armies are called. So, yeah, I'll upgrade to this. You guys will take Lindum, which is, let's say, a poor settlement, but I don't know, if, if it is in the beginning a rich one, that it's quite shocked, but We'll get plus two. Also, these two buildings will be repaired, and I will also convert this. Actually, I will destroy it and convert it into, like, what is it? Into artisan. Yeah, it is. <coughs> so, I'll get 300 out of it each turn. So, also, yeah. Okay. I can also sign somebody new. So, let's get you. No, actually, no. I'll get Olam. I think he will get more public order. Better public order, basically. Okay, so, let me see. Pigments here. So, let's see what'll happen. So, yeah. How has been your day? How it has been going good? Mine has been good so far. Okay. So, yeah. Next week, we'll be daily episodes of this and Austria Let's Play. I know. There might be two videos a day of Caledonia's Let's Play. Depends a bit. And some stuff. <laughs> Not how much you like it. It depends how fast I'll be able to finish Austria. Okay, so we only need 72 more regions, that's good. <laughs> okay, so our economy is looking better. Okay, you guys can take Lindum. Lindum. So I can raise an. not. yeah, so raise another army in Eboracum, so I will. so I'll be able to take. Uh, this, let's be real, I need it. Let's try this, build this. Uh, but, stand, no, I won't, fuck it. Let's get you this. No, wrong skill. Shoot this. I mean, it's a small bonus, but better something than nothing, I guess. Let's get you here. So, I will take Sigantium. I should be, are they, yeah, they will, they're able to reach it. No, I want repair. I'm just interested. 394. So, uh, I think a Borkum is. Uh, I don't know. Sigantium will be. I will get a lot from Sigantium. Because I will be able. Yes, sure. Uh, because I will be able to have trade agreements with these Vikings, basically. Mostly. Plus, also, I'll be able to have. No, Abdanians. No, come on. Don't take. Sigantium, don't 
create any. Come on, you gash. Just leave me be here. Let me just. Am I stronger than the. De yes, I am! Strongest fac. Second strongest faction in the British Isles. <laughs> These guys will just hear us, um, which is the most upkeep unit. These guys aren't hounds. Okay, let me. Okay, so if I, up I get the technology, these guys will get even more upgraded. So that will be okay, I guess. <laughs> Assume so. So let's say that they take Sigantium, I can still go for Kamludunum. And open trade with Franks, I, I hope. I mean, I have a trading resource which is upgraded, so that is another plus. Let's, let's enter and what will happen. Oh, I saw if the tech met lean down. Bloody hell. Romans, you have better things to handle, not just us. You have worse things than us to handle. You have more smelly barbarians somewhere else to handle. No, no, don't you, don't you even dare. Don't you even think of it. Yeah, yeah, you better be afraid of us, yeah. yeah that's it. Afraid of us, aren't you? Pluses. <laughs> okay, let's see, what is the mess? No, they created Britain. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Plan we will go for Kamuldonum. I don't know, what's with the AI? Everybody wants a piece of Br me Britain. Okay, let's occupy it. Oh, what was this? Okay, good, I guess. I don't know, I really didn't look at it. Okay, let's get this, upgrade this. I can't repair this and this. No. Wait, does this plus 15% all forces in the... This? I don't know. Let's get a trade with these guys. Arrange marriage. No, they'll probably go for France. I want to have like an empire like the Charlemagne's. So this, this, this. Entire Italy and all these islands. Africa, Macedonia, Dardania. This, this. Basically, like some kind of a weird version of Western Roman Empire, basically. So I can also have trade with these guys. I want to. I want them to like me more than. Oh, they, they really want this. So if I put these two things, no. Okay, so if I put this and this with it. This just makes them a bit more happier with us. Also, this. Let's say uh, if I can get defense, yes, I can. Let's see, it's 600 maybe. Yes, nice. So, angles. Oh, Jude subjugated them. Damn. Bloody hell, I didn't. I didn't see that one coming. So basically, Romans have been almost pushed out of Britain. Ten, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so we'll have a rebellion. If I untax it, it, we won't get it yet. I just delay it a bit. If I get this here, I should. Like, I think that Iboracum will be well protected. I just feel like that. So yeah, I'll probably take a Londinium next turn and Crinium next turn as well. So once I finish that, I will try taking out Britain. Once that is finished, I'll call Danian Suda as well. The economy is really low, why is that? Wait, if I put it on normal. Oh yeah, we untexted that region, so let's take the taxes into higher. So let's see, uh, greetings, I have brought a gift from my people, accept the gift. Well, okay, so we will get iron if I take it, so that is good and fun. They probably don't have any forces here, so just a second. Okay, so I will just do one more enter, one more turn basically, and just to take Londinium, so we'll have the entire part of this Britain. And yeah, uh, what was the... Uh, no, I forgot it.
Okay, so they want to have our daughter now. I will have to decline this. Oh, oh, oh bloody hell, my neck is better now. <laughs> I hope. I think it should be. Yeah. Oh man, what are you doing? So, let's say if the angles are able to... Oh, we discovered the kids. That's so wonderful. That is wonderful. They usually have a lot of daughters that they can marry us. Or king, actually. I think... No, we can't. Bloody hell. We can marry our daughter, daughter to one of their kings, I guess. But, yeah, okay, so the Western Roman Empire probably didn't reinforce. What is it called again? Londinium. Yes. Okay. Accept, 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 accept. Let me just go back to normal. It was the... There wasn't rebellion here, bloody hell. This one you need to get you guys into Lindum. Let's hope for the best, I guess. Actually... No, fuck it. Aggressive and Londinium is ours, so reclaimed London. We've almost pushed the Romans out. Occupied. Yeah, we have like this straight line here. But let's get you this and this. Can can you hop, hop jump here and get yourself some more marks? Yes, you can. So we'll use them just for defense. How much did? I can get these two units of them. No, I can't. Can't trade with those guys yet. Bloody hell. Okay, let's see. Longboards. Why don't they like me? Because they don't like me because I have relations with Saxons. Okay, so let's see. Roman Empire has 61 regions. They start off with 68, so they have been shrunk down by Centretris. We. we yeah, I think they were. And they should be. Okay, so let's get her married to Ola Marie of Wisdom. Okay, let's see. Uh, should I or shouldn't I? I will profit a lot of this, but not yet because my economy is shit. Okay, so once I take this southern part of Britain, Britannia Superior, yeah, it is. Uh, also, should I? I'll destroy this because I want to have a trading resource here. So, yeah. So, okay, so I will end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, share it with your friends, family, anybody want to. And, yeah. Follow me on Twitter, join my Sting Group, links to what are in the description below. So, yes. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And yeah, here's to hopefully a fantastic campaign, which I'll have fun and of which I'll probably get worth after fucking five episodes. Okay, but so all serious, hope you enjoyed this episode. And yeah, till next time, King of Pokemon, out. Bye.